In this video, I'm going to show you how to create static local variables in C, which are going to be variables whose values persist across function calls. So here we'll make a function called f. And we'll provide a definition for f down here. And f is going to have a static local variable. So I'll say static int calls is equal to zero. And some of this should look familiar. We're making a variable called calls. It's going to be an int type variable and we're initializing it to zero. But this static keyword is going to make it so that calls and its value persists across calls to the function f. So here I'll say calls plus plus and I'll print f calls. So I'll say calls percent d slash n and then output calls. And then we'll call f once and we'll see what we get. So if I do a compilation and I run this, I get calls one. And that shouldn't be too surprising because I initialized calls to zero. I incremented it by one and then I output calls. So it makes sense I get calls one there. But here if I say F and we call it again, if I do a recompilation now and I run it, I get calls one and calls two. So what's going on here is that calls and its value actually will persist across function calls due to this static keyword. And we say that it's a static local variable. So this initialization here to zero, it's only gonna happen the first time the function is called. On all subsequent calls to the function, this won't occur. We won't initialize calls to zero. Instead, calls will take on whatever value it had when the previous call to the function ended. So here, when we go to increment calls, the second time the function is called, calls was set to one previously. So when we go to increment calls, we set it to two. And then when we output calls, we get calls two here. I could call F again. We could do a recompilation and run it. And now we get calls one, calls two, calls three. So we can use static local variables to create variables that are gonna maintain their value across function calls. So let's make a more practical example here. One situation where a static local variable might be useful is keeping track of the number of log messages we've made. So a lot of larger programs especially will have some kind of function that's responsible for writing log messages to a file. Say to keep track of the program's execution, to maybe know when some kind of error occurred or to know what series of actions were taken before something bad occurred. These sorts of log messages are helpful. And one thing we want to do is number the log messages. So I'll make a log message function. I'll say void log message car star message. And we'll provide a definition of this function down here. And what this function is going to do is it's going to use a static local variable to keep track of the log number message. So each log is going to have a unique number and it's going to be a number that's in sequence. So that's actually pretty useful information to have. And we can implement that very easily with static local variables. So here I'll say static int total is equal to zero and then total plus plus. So this will keep track of the number of times the log message function was called. And we can use this as our unique log number. So next what I'll do is open up a file called log.txt and I'll append this log message to the file. So whenever the function is called, it's gonna be provided with a string and that string is the log message. And we're gonna write that to a file. So I'll say here file star log file is equal to f open log.txt a. And what this is gonna do is open a file called log.txt in append mode. So it's going to append to the file. And fopen is going to return a file handle that we're going to store into log file. Now, if fopen ever fails to open the file, log file will be set to null. So we just want to do a quick check for that before we actually write to the file. We'll say if log file doesn't equal null, then we're safe to write to the file. So here we'll say f printf We'll write to this log file, 
a log message like this log percent d colon percent s slash n will output the log number and the message so i'll put the log number here and then the message here and then we'll close our access to the file we'll say f close log file so now what i could do is write a series of log messages so i could say log message and i could say read data log message and i could say update data log message and we'll say data error. So we're, we're pretending to log important things about our program's execution here. Now if I do a compilation here, and I run it, and I check out the file log.txt, we'll see that it has these log messages on each line of the file. But each one of these log messages here has this unique number that we're assigning to each log message via the usage of this static local variable. So this would be more practical usage of a static local variable in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.